Hey guys, Mr. Green here with you. In this lesson, we're going to look at solving radical equations. To solve a radical equation, you first want to isolate the radical on one side and then raise both sides to the same power. Let's use this process on the first example I've written down. 2 plus the square root of 3x minus 2 equals 6. First, we want to isolate the radical by subtracting 2 from each side of the equation. That'll give us the square root of 3x minus 2 equals 4. Now we can eliminate the radical by squaring both sides. And we'll get 3x minus 2 equals 16. So by adding 2 to both sides and dividing by 3, it looks like x equals 6. To be sure this is the solution, though, we should substitute 6 back into the original equation to check it. When we do that, you can see that we get 6 on the left side is equal to 6. So our solution checks out, and we can say that x does equal 6 for this equation. Now sometimes you may have to square both sides of the equation more than once. In this second example, we have a radical on both sides of the equation. Since the one on the left is already isolated, let's go ahead and square both sides to eliminate the radical on the left side. That'll give us 2x plus 5 equals 8x plus 4 times the quantity, or sorry, 4 times the square root of 2x plus 1. Now we want to isolate the square root term on the right side of the equation. So let's subtract 8x and 1 from both sides. Our next step will say 4 minus 6x is equal to 4 times the square root of 2x. Now we're ready to square both sides again to eliminate the radical on the right side of the equation. Go ahead and square both sides and write the next step of this equation and hit the continue button when you're ready to move on. Alright, hopefully you have 16 minus 48x plus 36x squared equals 32x. Now this is a quadratic equation that we need to get a zero on one side so we can factor and use the zero product property. So let's subtract 32x from both sides. Let's also rearrange the terms to write 36x squared minus 80x plus 16 equals zero. We can divide all the way through by four to make our numbers a little bit smaller. And now we're ready to factor. 9x squared minus 20x plus four factors to the binomials 9x minus 2 and x minus 2. So it looks like x equals 2 ninths or 2. But again, we should substitute these values into the original equation to check them. Here's what we get when we substitute them back in. 9 halves checks out, but 2 does not. So 2 is what we call an extraneous solution. It's a solution we get from solving the equation, but it doesn't work in the original equation. So the only acceptable solution for this equation is 2 ninths. And that wraps up this lesson on solving radical equations. Great job and good luck on the rest of your homework. You can get more Algebra 2 help by signing up for Nutshell Math. I'll see you next time.